<laughs> All right. She stepped out of the aspect ratio. What an interesting score. Weird. Ah, kids, they're gonna die soon. What the fuck is up with the editing in this shit? They're friends. That's like a backdrop for shitty photos. Is somebody playing music in- is that diegetic? Is somebody playing piano? Or is this just like part of the fucking score? Dude, this movie just started and it's fucking weird. This is my ghost, I mean new wife. She'll be joining us at the house. What the f- What the fuck is this? Have you seen this woman for sale? I'm your dad's new banshee. I'm going to tie this around your neck, that means you'll be decapitated soon. It's a horrible way to introduce your new girlfriend to your daughter. She's your replacement mother. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Hop. <laughs> oh, wow, nice room. They're doing such weird experimental things with the editing and lighting and acting. Everything's... It's weird. Listen to this fucking music, dude. It's the weirdest episode of Sailor Moon I've ever seen. That's the handsome teacher that all the girls love. He looks like a railroad bum. Alright, was that sexual? It's very possible. I could start at the end and play it backwards. Cute. Oh, she named the cat already Blanche. Somebody playing the kazoo in the background? What the fuck is happening here, dude? By nobody else but me. Yeah. <laughs> I... Yeah, dude, uh... This is supposed to be a horror movie, but... It's kind of kid show-like, yeah. Just a couple of cowboys carrying guns... ...in gun-free Japan. Yeah, that cat's a fucking ghost, man. There's something up with that fucking cat. Oh, animation. That's nice. We're traveling through a children's book. Cat's not interested in your fucking burger. Get out of its face. This may have gore in it. I don't know. It's possible. I'll, I'll fucking... I'll believe anything at this point. Look at this shit. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Anybody notice that she's got your cat? While you guys are looking at her flashback? And then they all died in Nagasaki? What the fuck happened? What? Alright, that's our cast of characters. We've already been introduced to them, but that's okay. Please let Kung Fu get in a fight with a ghost cat. Look at that matte painting. It's Nico Avocado. They drugged that fucking cat. <laughs> He's gonna fuck that melon later. <laughs> Look at that. You can see the gate, like, shaking in front of the map painting where the house is. What the fuck was it? Whoa. Hold on. <laughs> because I'm dead, and I need to suck your life force out. If cats really had telekinesis, humans wouldn't exist anymore. They would have no further use for us. Dear Chandelier, please fall on them! No, don't walk under it! I knew it! <laughs> what the fuck? What? Uh, y y yes? It's not fucking wonderful. It looks like it's... Uh, the whole house is dying of exposure. Is that cat eating her crotch? That doesn't look healthy. I wish I had many young girls in my house. Yeah, she's talking to the stove. She's talking to the chandelier. The whole house is haunted. The house itself. There's not even ghosts. It's just the house. Yeah, she seems normal. 
Oh my god. I think Auntie's coming on to you, Mac. Exactly. What? I like how well-rounded Mac's character is. What? Oh, because her eyes... What the fuck? What a lovely, beautiful matte painting it is today. Smell the paint. Cool. <laughs> oh, that's fucking cool. All right, I'm all in with this movie now. Cut the melon open. Her head's inside. <laughs> Is this how friends talk to each other when they're female? What an odd fucking movie, dude. You ate her, you killed her, she's dead. <laughs> wow. I think I kinda like Kung Fu. I'm gonna throw her up right here on the floor. <laughs> and then she looks at the camera. Of course you do. I can't. Is that a hand sandwich with sauerkraut? What the? Okay, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? Look, look at the design, dude. The way that the ivy is. That's indoors. It's literally like she's not even in a house. They're just walls somewhere in the forest. The metronome's even going to make sure she's playing it correctly, the right tempo. <laughs> Got Uncle Bones back there going nuts. Yeah, Waldar, I wish I had a whole band made of nothing but skeletons. If I could somehow remove my skin and muscles and nervous system and still remain alive as a skeleton, I would just do that. It's Auntie. She, she stole your hair. And she's just standing there like, huh, that's weird. I guess my face will fall off now. It's malfunctioning. Your piano's overheating. What a weird way of screaming. Oh, cuz- wait, wait. Cuz she's Melody. She has a melodic scream. She can't even scream discordantly. That's why when Melody screams, that's what she sounds like. S getting pillow fought to death. Nice upskirts. Are they smelling her fucking panties? Melody's a fucking freak! Shit! I guess sweet's not so sweet in the pants, huh? What a fucking weird-ass fucking movie, man. Mr. Togo isn't gonna help anybody. Mr. Togo is going to fucking die. Yeah, here I come with a bucket on my ass to save you. <laughs> what the fuck is this? The cat is Auntie's familiar, and Auntie's a fucking ghost or a witch ogre devil woman of some sort. Yeah, the cat is like some kind of spiritual representation of something. The icons are all over the house. The cat caused the ass eating, yes. <laughs> so that song end with a whining dog? Listen to how the song ends. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I kind of love this movie. I definitely love it. It would have to do something really bad right now to fuck up and make me dislike it. Because so far, it's straight up a five. It's another five. We still got... It's only, you know, we're in the final act right now, I think. But do I understand what's happening? Yes. Yes. They're forming a think train. They're not giving the, uh, 
the background music, the volume it deserves. Did you hear that shit? The fucking bass turned into a frog? Yeah, what the fuck was that? Yeah, this soundtrack needs to be louder. They're going off. I love how the camera's fucking going back and forth. It's reminiscent of the metronome. Don't stop, you're just getting to the best part of the song! <laughs> <laughs> oh, now she's concerned. <laughs> oh, she's digging it now. What exactly is happening? <laughs> I think it was the music that startled them. Did one finger correct the other one? Oh, you fucked up. <laughs> you know, she's not- she's not that good at kung fu either. Karate, rather. She's doing karate, I guess, question mark, but they call her kung fu. <laughs> what? Oh, they're gonna go straight up fucking fight. Oh, they gotta cut back to that shit, come on. I want to see a full fight between Kung Fu and Ghost. Not the best choreography so far. <laughs> oh no. What? Where is she rigged up to hang from that? Was her melody spinning tits? You know what? If, if that's the afterlife, that's not such a bad place to be. Oh, she's gonna survive. No, her legs survive. Wow! Kung Fu sacrificed her upper torso. <laughs> okay, I totally see the evil dead. Sam Raimi must have got some ideas from watching this, for sure. What? Banana is... Kryptonite to Watermelon Man? <laughs> I like how when all the girls are turned into ghosts, they become nude. I think that's probably one of my favorite parts. No, she's totally a ghost. See, she's nude. Because that's what ghosts are. All right. What's up? We're not done. Here comes new mom. She's always like she's in a fucking deodorant commercial or something. Fresh as a mountain spring. Feel confident going to your work meeting. What? Mr. Togo turned into fucking bananas. She's enjoying life, you know, everywhere she goes. Gorgeous his new wife. The house wants her... If you're listening to the song, the house is singing to her. And the house wants her to move in and be the house's wife. She's strolling like, yeah, bitch, you're gonna get yours. Fake mom. Sure is nice sitting here not talking in front of your fans. I like also you notice it's just blowing on her. Nothing here. Crazy over here. This would be a good movie to trip out acid to. I kind of feel like I'm having a flashback just watching it, honestly. I was just mesmerized with her face. May live forever, okay. I mean, I'm gazing at it and I'm male. I don't even know who directed this. I don't know who wrote this. Nobuhiko Obayashi. Old man. There were definitely voyeuristic elements. Purposefully voyeuristic elements. It, it, it was very decadently shot. I'm trying to understand how the ending monologue relates to the overall theme of the movie. I mean, I guess it sort of makes sense. Uh, like, for example, the girl that loved to eat. She got eaten. And she's going to be a ghost now. Because her, she's haunted by her love of food. Mr. Togo, like, loved bananas. <laughs> He was a big fan of bananas. Excellent credit sequence. We see all the girls. 
There goes Kung Fu. It might be a red herring for the critics. I don't know, Waldar. I don't think so. Uh, as absurd as this movie is, I think obviously a lot of thought was put into every aspect of it. I'm just even mostly talking about, uh, like, the direction right now. The cinematography, the editing, this discussion with her, camera swings back. Yeah, it's they do little things like that all throughout the movie where, like, it's never boring. There's always something weird visually going on. The war footage film sequences... Where it's not even, like, war footage, she's just telling them about what happened to her aunt. Matt comes out and eats her ass. Where does that happen? That's like one of the best parts. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. I love the fucking... I love how they dressed up the house to make it look like it's all overgrown and shit. Like, how could these girls, when they show up here, think, Oh, oh excuse me, Nico Avocado. Uh, like, oh, what a great house. It's it's all fucked up and rickety. What great cobwebs you have, Auntie. It's not wonderful. Ivy, fucking poison ivy is growing in your fucking shit. I'm a little disappointed they didn't do more with Boney. Like the way they're constantly filming her with the wind blowing her fucking scarf and shit. They didn't have to do any of this stuff. It's 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 art. They're being totally artistic with how they're doing every fucking shot. The music's fantastic. The dialogue is weird. It, it's like cartoony. It is some straight up anime shit in places, you know? Oh, there, yeah, the great matte paintings back there. Even when they were outside when they were taking the trip to the house. Yeah, they got these fake painted mountains in the background there. It's like super inventive. That's... That's fucking hilarious. If they were one-dimensional and just, like, acting normal, it would be boring. But, like, everybody's a fucking cartoon character. She's got her own karate theme. I love the howling dog. The editing choices, even right at the beginning. Like, as soon as this started, I knew it was gonna be something crazy. And you can't say, like, any of the effects were actually, like, good. You know, good, good. A lot of obvious blue screen and animating over the top of stuff. See, what the- what is this weird shit even supposed to be? Yeah, she's being... cut up and or having sex with the piano. It's just that it's so inventive. Yeah, that room that she's going into there, even the room that they're in now, the vines and growth and shit, it's so fucking... Yeah, this is gonna be one of those movies that I'm gonna, like, look up a whole bunch of supplemental information about. Just for my own, you know, pleasure. I gotta give it a five. I don't know about you guys, five out of five. I, I was just more confused than scared. Although, you know, I don't really get scared from these movies anyway, that's... But I'm saying, like, I wasn't recognizing stuff as creepy, exactly. Anti was kind of creepy, I guess. But, I don't know, you're just in a constant state of bewilderment. I don't think you have time to be scared if you were the getting scared type. Nothing scary about this. Look at how she's lit here. This is totally like school picture lighting. This is where Kung Fu starts running around in shorts because she's attacked by wood. I thought we were going to see more ghost hair than we actually did. Not a lot of ghost hair. I don't know how the rest of you feel, but Kung Fu, I think, is my favorite girl in the movie. Cat's cute. Did I say enough about the things that are good about this movie? I don't like that. That shit bugs me. Yeah, man, but just uh, straight up as a piece of filmmaking. I gotta give it a five. It was fucking great. Like, I felt there was influence from Universal monster movies. Just the way they were using sets and and this guy right here, Peter Lorre, could play a character like that over here. This is fucking great. I'm gonna stop the recording. All I'm doing is talking about how some.
how things are. Look at those melons. Those things probably aren't real, but they're great. <laughs> <laughs>